Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna start um, doing a little bit of a different twist on things. Uh, um, I'm gonna start a little bit of a new series called uh, Story Time, and um, I'm just gonna tell you stories. <laughs> And uh, but you know not these aren't bedtime stories or anything like that. No, these are just stories of my past, my life, you know, and so many other adventures and you know and all that other stuff. Because again, I have had a crazy life, you know, already. My life already has been beyond the insane up until this point. Uh, you know, my life so far has already been fucking. You know, uh, many people have told me, you know for years for decades you know hey, you should write a book or you know all the shit you've done all this stuff whatever anyway so I decided you know to start you know doing uh, episodes you know just dedicated to having a little story time now you know for story time you know I'm gonna keep it this way all right I don't want to flip the camera around yet because you know what every time I flip the camera around and I you know sh upload that footage that starts giving me a freaking headache all right so um i'm like i said i have a camera coming soon that is uh you know um gonna allow me to film facing forward this way all right without giving us all a headache all right so just give me a few more weeks a month you know uh, by the time january rolls around we'll be in business but anyways all right so let's get the story time so and and to in today's episode, in the first episode of Storytime, um, I'm gonna be telling you how I quit smoking, all right? Because the thing is that, you know, my, my, I, how I quit smoking story isn't maybe your typical, um, how do I, how, you know, how I quit smoking story type of thing, because I don't know, I'm just, uh, you know, most people do like a cold turkey type thing, you know, a lot of people do that Nicorette stuff. You know, there's all kinds of levels, you know, to this stuff. But, you know, basically, most people, you know, when they've, uh, you know, tried to give up smoking cigarettes, you know, most people when they've uh, given up uh, trying to smoke cigarettes or what have you, um, it's actually been uh, a very difficult process because, um, you know, they've actually... Uh, look, I used to be a smoker. You know what? How about this? I I'm not gonna go through all that crap. All right, let's just go with my story. So, as you guys, as you guys already know, I used to be a chef, and um, I lived that chef life. And um, living that life, uh, part of that life was I smoked a lot of cigarettes. So, <laughs> but you know, I was like a two packer. You know, I, I mean, when I first started smoking, I, I smoked Camels unfiltered, and um, you know, I, I ran through. You know all kinds of uh, you know cigarettes and uh, I smoked everything and you know I tried to get off uh, smoking cigarettes but it was a no-go all I could do was uh, reduce the amount of cigarettes I could smoke you know but to me you know it was a, I, got, I got at a point in my life where I figured man I'm never gonna be able to quit smoking ever you know this sucks um, I hate this fucking addiction it sucked I hated it whatever um, then you know fast forward till when I was already in Seattle and I quit you know being a chef now I still smoked but um, I was living a very different life and um, you know at that point you know like now, now this is a story time okay so here is the part of like you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I quit smoking but it's not how you know anyone really quit smoking you know so it's uh you know this is not like a story of how how you can quit smoking all right this is not advised this is not you know anything this is just for entertainment purposes out there only and all this stuff now notice I I notice I never say that but I think I'm gonna have to be saying that every time I say story time because yeah you already know what's up so all right here we go so I was uh, I was dating this girl all right let's just say her name was Lucy all right, and um, you know, I was dating Lucy, and uh, you know, Lucy, um, you know, she liked her drugs. She really liked her drugs, and one of the things, um, one of the things that she um, enjoyed was Adderall, 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 whatever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but um, anyways, 
me, I, you know, I never, I never did that. In fact, I never did any like any drugs until I moved to Seattle. Holy shit, man! There's a lot of, uh, there's a huge drug culture out there. But I don't know. Whatever. You know, what do I know? I'm just a guy from Miami, from a small little town. Anyway, so, anyway, so yeah. Um, that's what, so she's like, oh hey, Jose, whatever. Can you get me some some Adderall? And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, don't worry about it, whatever, you know, like. So, um, you know, I, I talked to my guys, I I made a few phone calls, you know, bada bing, bada boom. And before, I, you know, before she knew it, she had a nice little bottle. Look at these people just crossing the street. <laughs> oh, look, it's like, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying to make sure I don't get run over, but yeah, hold on. The story's about to get interesting now. Thanks. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this girlfriend of mine, she's like, hey, um, you know, can you get me some Adderall, whatever? I need it, blah, blah, blah. You know, me and my dumb ass, I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, no big deal. I'll get you some of those. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if look at this, look, look what's out there. There's like some sort of concert. But anyways, at the end of the day, if you're a guy, you already know you got to get something for your girl, whatever it is. Um, sometimes it's Adderall. Sometimes it's other things. But there's going to be something going on here this weekend. Got to check it out. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'm definitely going to see if I can come out here with Christian. We'll check that out. All right. Ooh, everything's getting beautified. But anyways, so she asked me for that. And me, being the good boyfriend that I am. Yeah. I don't know if I'm good or bad or whatever. You know, you you make your own de decision out there if I'm a good or bad, uh, um, you know, boyfriend or whatever. But anyways, I got her that stuff, and she was happy as fuck. She got that full bottle. You know, she was you know taking taking her little um, taking her little candy pills or whatever the fuck. And um and and then all of a sudden like um, she goes to me, hey, have you ever done this? And I'm like, no, I've never done it. Whatever. She goes, are you curious? And I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, sure, why not? Fuck it. And so I pop one. And when I popped one, at first I was like, hey, this ain't nothing. But then before I knew it, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is, this is just like cocaine, only in pill form. All right, hold on. Let me cross the street here. So I was like, I was like, wait a minute, this is like, this is like cocaine in pill form. And so I took one, and then after the effects of that ran out, I took another one, and I was like, oh shit, wait a minute. Oh, okay, now I see why people like this shit. Because that was basically it. It was basically uh, Adderall in pill form. Now, I mean, uh cocaine in pill form that's what Adderall is so you know then all of a sudden you know I was like um, you know I would go outside to have my regular uh, cigarette break you know um, I would go outside real quick you know to go smoke my cigarette and all of a sudden this is like maybe a day or two into taking these things um, all of a sudden I, I you know I went downstairs one day to smoke my cigarette in the morning and when I went to go smoke my cigarette, all of a sudden, it, uh, uh, it was like, oh, what is this? What is, it was like smoking, it was smoking like the tailpipe of one of these cars, like the exhaust pipe of a car. And I was like, oh, this is horrible. This is fucking horrible. I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't know what the hell was going on. And, um, you know, basically, my my nicotine habit was still there so i really was jonesing to smoke cigarettes and smoke and i but i couldn't i couldn't because they just tasted so bad so because of that because they were so freaking bad i just didn't smoke them and um i just i i, I had to, i had to go cold turkey but not because i wanted to so it was like they got taken away from me. But every time that I even tried to smoke one, it was like the exhaust pipe of that, that bus right there. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. What the hell's going on? So me, on my, you know, you know, on my fucking Adderall induced fucking uh, drug haze, 
I um, I went on the internet, on the internet, you know, to like, hey, um, I took Adderall and now, and now I can't smoke cigarettes or something like that. And um, you know, when I when I did the research or whatever, it was like, oh yeah. So what happens is, is that when you when you are a habitual cigarette smoker, you know, someone like me per se, you know, someone that was like a like a one packer or more a day. Someone like me that was a one packer or more a day. Um, I, uh, if I were to take Adderall all of a sudden. Yeah, sorry for all the noise. If I were to take Adderall all of a sudden. Oh, look at this bus. If I were to take Adderall all of a sudden, then what would happen? If I were to take Adderall all of a sudden as a habitual cigarette smoker, then what would happen is that all of a sudden um, something triggers in my brain, you know, some sort of switch, you know, would go off in my brain. And then that switch is that switch that is responsible for me, um, you know, wanting to smoke. I guess like the, like the, the switch that is uh, the, the nervous tick, the nervous, uh, anxiety bit filled uh, tick in your brain that gets you to to light up and smoke that cigarette well that all of a sudden gets like extinguished it gets like turned off it just um doesn't work anymore so what happens is is that then subsequently once that switch breaks whenever you try to smoke a cigarette even though you have that that nicotine that's still coursing through your veins and you have the addiction and you might have the habit the habit of, of still wanting to smoke um, your brain is telling you otherwise. You know what I mean? Your brain is saying, uh-uh, sorry. You, you know, you can't smoke this shit no more. This is bad. This is whatever. And so, yeah. And then, you know, I told my crazy girlfriend about it. And she's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that happens all the fucking time. Blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. You know, and I was like, huh. Well, get the fuck out of here. Well, holy shit. And then, yeah, sure enough, that was... I want to say five years ago. I want to say five fucking years ago, and yeah, um, I'm I'm still cigarettes free. Now I'll I'll smell cigarettes, and I'll smell tobacco, and I love tobacco. I've always loved tobacco. I'm Cuban after all, and um, yeah, it's great. But every time that I've actually attempted to smoke a cigarette, it's like poison, like pure, like pure, pure, pure poison. So I I don't I don't do that no more. I'm not able to smoke a cigarette any longer which is great great news i'm not complaining at all as a matter of fact the, the complete opposite i'm i'm blessed i feel thankful and um it's funny because uh you know when i had the cuban cigars and i was smoking the cuban cigars i was starting to get a little addicted to those you know what i mean like um then got it ran out and um and, and then you know the that um the desire for me to want to keep smoking tobacco died out the few days after but you know that goes to show that I, i'm still you know semi i guess addicted or semi you know whatever you know what i mean there's something in my brain that loves that shit i mean i do smoke blunts after all so you know with that being said it's just very very interesting to see um that you know by taking a drug by taking a drug that counter the effect of another drug because that's basically what happened you know basically what happened was that i was addicted to nicotine i was addicted to those cigarettes that poison pure poison and then all of a sudden basically overnight after me taking some adderall for a few nights in a row a few days in a row all of a sudden i was cured of my addiction and um and that's my story and i'm sticking to it now Again, you know, this story is for entertainment purposes, entertainment, entertainment purposes only. And <laughs> I don't expect any one of you guys out there to do this. And uh, it's not like it works for everybody. I don't think it does. I'm not quite sure it does. But, you know, maybe that's a reason why, you know, there's people out there, you know, more people out there right now today that are, are more addicted to Adderall instead of addicted to cigarettes. I don't know. Maybe there's a correlation there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a bunch of you guys that are, you know, addicted to Adderall and also addicted to cigarettes as well. Again, I don't fucking know, you know what I mean? All I know is that that's my story and that's what happened and uh, 
yeah, you know, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Maybe for you, maybe it'll also work for you. Maybe you can, um, you know, something like that. You know what I mean? Not not that per se. Again, you know, don't don't be doing what I'm telling you guys. You know, what I did. But I'm saying that maybe there's a, a solution out there for whatever your problem is. You can have, you know, there's a million problems. You know, we talk about, this is not Monday motivation, but you know, just again, there's a million problems. And then like, what I'm saying is that maybe the solution to your problem is just an, 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 or, an, an unorthodox um, solution, basically, you know what I mean? So instead of, uh, you know, instead of, you know, going through the tried and true um, solutions that are not working out or not panning out, um, what you can actually do is, um, you know, try an unorthodox solution. And sometimes this unorthodox solution comes at you by surprise. Like that did to me. Look, at the end of the day, that, that girlfriend that I had at the time, she was the worst fucking thing that, you know, literally, you know, I thought, I don't know, she was just a fucking, uh, she was a living hell, all right? To put it lightly, she was horrendous and she was she was just bad all right that's it i'm gonna leave it there all right but at the end of the day um it turned out it turned out wonderfully well in my favor because you know when i assess the whole relationship i'm like well fuck it it was totally worth it you know like a lot of people you know um go through a lot worse just trying to give up this addiction of cigarettes something that I, I would have done anything, you know, for to, to give up. And then all of a sudden, I had some crazy fucking person, you know, come into my life. And she fucking, uh, you know, besides, you know, some sex and um, besides some headaches and um, besides costing me money, you know, basically, you know, she was, uh, you know, shitty relationship. And then all I had to do was experience a shitty relationship. You know, there wasn't really that big of a fucking deal. Really, really it wasn't. Um, and because of that... And because of that, I was gifted, I was gifted with um, not, you know, not, not having that, um, that crutch of smoking cigarettes anymore in my life. Because look, at the end of the day, you know, what basically happened with me and her was just, you know, what happens to a lot of guys with girls, you know, that, you know, they get tricked by certain girls, you know, um, you end up spending a lot of money on them because you feel sorry for them. Um, you know, you end up helping them out a lot, but at the end of the day, all you're doing is just, uh, enabling you know obviously if you 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 know you you listen to the fucking story i'm was a, a fucking enabler so i mean you know i get it too you know what i mean it's not like i was the the greatest fucking example or anything like that but uh but at the end of the day you know um but at the end of the day you know the the the, the main point to all this is uh hold on uh, there's music over here all right hold on let me all right, so at the end of the day, the main point to all this is, is that what you gotta do is that, man, I'm sorry, I'm losing my tra train of thought. Give me one second, guys, one second. Yeah, sorry, guys, you know, there was uh, some distraction over there, you know, I was just trying to, you know, finish the video. But anyways, as I was saying, at the end of the day, um, you know, I was just um, in her life as like, a, not just an enabler, but, you know, Captain save a -ho. You you feel me, you know, I was there, you know, uh, bailing her out of situations, you know, giving her, you know, money when I shouldn't have given her money, you know, all these fucking things. And to me, I was like, fuck, you know, I wasted, I spent a lot of money on this relationship. I spent a lot of money on this girl. We've all been there. We've all been there. But, but again, when I look at the bigger picture and I'm like, well, wait a minute, you know, at the end of the day, I gained a few things. I actually did gain a few things. Uh, she helped me with my business. She gave me a few tips that actually helped me make more money. So she, again, she gave me some tips on the stuff that I was doing that just helped me make more money on the things that I was already making. So right then and there, you know, she paid off. And then, and the other one was when, when it comes to the, you know, giving up the cigarettes, you know, where I was able to finally give up that, that crutch, that habit, that thing that was, uh, you know, death you know on my shoulder you know i thought that she was death on my shoulder but she actually was the one that she was so bad she was so horrible that she scared death off of my shoulder how's that and so because of that you know because of her because of that relationship because of that situation well guess what i'm smoke free five years and counting i don't even know when the fuck i gave up smoking i'm not that's not even like a fucking thing i don't celebrate it it's not like a i just don't smoke anymore and that's it you know what i mean and um i'm so beyond grateful and happy and uh that's it guys that's my story so i hope you guys enjoyed today's story time 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these episodes. I'm gonna do um, a few more of these, you know. Um, hopefully you guys can uh, chime in and let me know what you guys think and uh, we can go from there. I got tons of stories, you know, that go back to when I was uh, a teenager, you know, tons of stories of to back when I was uh, working as a chef, especially then, and tons of crazy shit, you know what I mean? And I would love to share it with you and uh, hopefully get you guys a good laugh and, uh, you know, why not? You know what I mean? There's a million things uh, that I could be talking about, you know, so might as well, you know, uh, entertain you guys and entertain me and, uh, you know, we can uh, enjoy this whole thing even more. All right, guys, well, you already know the deal. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please stay awesome and uh, more importantly than anything else, I already said it. Yeah, stay awesome and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.